Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends, I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the Lord of our life and the head of the church. And so we greet you in that wonderful name that is above every name. This is Pastor Wiggins. I'm the proud pastor of the people that call New Horizons Church home. And I want to thank you for joining with us today as we continue our series of walking with God, about praying about our walk with God. We walk by faith and not by sight. So thank you for joining us each day in this daily prayer devotional. And day, today is day number 23 as we're praying about our walk with God. We're going to be in Psalm number 86, Psalm 86, verse 11 and 12 from the New King James Version of the Word of God. Here's what the Word of God says. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear, fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. Teach me your way, O Lord. I will walk in your truth. Unite my heart to fear your name. I will praise you, O Lord my God, with all my heart, and I will glorify your name forever. Amen. As we pray today about our walk with God, we want to pray for four things. Number one, we want to pray and ask God to teach us his ways. You know, his ways are not our ways. His thoughts are not our thoughts. So we need God to teach us his way. Secondly, we want to pray and ask God to guide us to walk in his truth. As God teaches us his truth, we need to ask him to help guide us in his truth. Thirdly, we want to pray and praise God with our whole heart. That as God gives us guidance, we want to give him glory. And we want to pray and glorify his name forever. The name of Jesus, we want to lift it up and glorify his name, not only in this life, but in the life to come. Amen. Come on, let's praise the Lord and pray to him together today. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, we bless you, God. Lord, we glorify you, God. We we lift you up and we extol you. We magnify you, God. We praise your holy name. God, We, if we had 10,000 tongues, Lord, today, we would not be able to praise you enough because you are deserving of all of the praise, all of the glory, and all of the honor. As a matter of fact, God, we, we are sorry that we haven't given you all the praise you deserve from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same Lord, your name, Jesus, is to be praised. So, Lord God, we take a moment and we just pause to, to praise you and to thank you and to worship you for who you are. Lord, you are our Lord and, and you are our Father and you are our God, our Creator, the Savior and the lover of our souls. So we just pause and say thank you, Lord, for loving us so much and demonstrating your love for us that while we were yet sinners, Jesus Christ died for us. So, Lord God, today, we just pray and ask you to teach us your ways. Lord, we know that your ways are not our ways and your thoughts are not our thoughts. As far as the heavens are above the earth, that's how far your ways and thoughts are above ours. But thank you, Lord God, for your word. Thank you for teaching us in the scripture your way. And we pray, Lord God, through the power and the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit, Lord, that you will lead us and guide us into all truth. Lord, illuminate the scriptures to us. Teach us your ways, Lord. Teach us how to love you with all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul. Lord, teach us how to love our neighbors as ourselves. Lord, teach us how to forgive those who have wronged us, even as you have forgiven us who have wronged you. Teach us to love our enemies, Lord. Teach us to be a generous people, Lord. Teach us to meet the needs of others, Lord, and, and to look beyond our own needs and see the needs of others who are least and lonely and left out. Lord, teach us to be your disciples. Teach us your way. You said if any person would come after you, we must deny ourselves, take up our cross daily and follow you. So, Lord God, we want to be followers of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to walk in your truth. And, Lord God, as we walk in your truth and we walk in your ways, Lord, teach us to have a heart full of praise, a heart full of thanksgiving, a heart full of gratitude. That no matter what comes our way, Lord God, we would be found praising and glorifying you. We would be found, Lord, thanking you and being grateful to you. For, Lord, you have been better to us than we could have been to ourselves. 
Lord, sometimes we we go through valleys, but we have the praise report that you will never leave us nor forsake us. You walk through the valley of the shadow of death with us, and we will fear no evil, for you are with us. Lord, you're there on the mountaintops, God. You're there when our enemies show up, and you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies. You anoint our head with oil, and our cup runs over. So we thank you, Lord, that you are our shepherd. You are our God, that you walk with us and talk with us and lead us and guide us into all truth. So, Lord, we give you praise, glory, and honor, not only in this life, but we look forward, oh God, to worshiping you and praising you for all eternity. Lord, we look forward to joining our loved ones and joining your ministering spirits, your angels in heaven, bowing before you and worshiping you in spirit and in truth. So we thank you, Lord, for the practice that we have on this side, for the praise that we're going to do in all eternity. So, Jesus, you get all of the glory, all of the praise. There is no other name given under heaven whereby people must be saved except at the name of Jesus. So thank you, Jesus, for your great name. And we know every knee is going to bow. Every tongue is going to confess that, Jesus, you are Lord to the glory of God the Father. So, Lord God, we bow before you today. We, we lay prostrate before you today. We lift holy hands in your presence today. God, we lift up our voices. We lift up the fruit of our lips to give you glory and to give you honor and to give you praise. For Lord God, you are so deserving of it. We lift up your name, Jesus. You said if you be lifted up, you would draw all men, women, boys, and girls unto you. So we lift up that mighty name today. We lift up the name of Jesus today. and We give it all glory, all praise, and all honor. Jesus, you are worthy of our praise. And we bless and praise you for it right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It just feels good to pray. It just feels good to praise. It just feels good to be led by the Lord today. And I want you to go in the presence and the power and the leading of the Holy Spirit as you walk by faith and not by sight. God wants to guide you into all truth, and he wants to lead you in walking in the truth today. And so we'll be back tomorrow. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification button. That way you can get the notifications when these prayers come out. And then be so kind and generous as to share the channel with somebody else. Let them know Pastor Wiggins and the New Horizons Church are praying about our walk with God. I'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. Be victorious. God bless.